Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am trying out a recipe from this Kikkoman cookbook. I found it online. It is from 1979, and I am going to be trying out these barbecue short ribs. And um, in my freezer, I had some beef back ribs, so I don't actually have short ribs. I'm using what I have on hand. I'm gonna be using some teriyaki sauce, marmalade, garlic salt, and lemon pepper seasoning. I actually plan on making this recipe tomorrow, so that's why I'm getting it ready tonight. But here are all of my ribs. And then I've got my garlic salt, lemon pepper, I've got my teriyaki sauce, and then I've got my orange marmalade. So basically you just combine all of the ingredients and then marinate the ribs in them, and then I am going to grill them tomorrow on my charcoal grill. Okay guys, so here are the ribs. I ended up grilling them for about an hour and a half, and Howard and I tasted the ribs, and they are really good. They have a good flavor. To me, they're a little salty. Howard didn't say that he thought they were salty, um, but I think, like I said, they have a good flavor and I love the stickiness of that sauce. Serving it with some sauteed broccoli and then we're having some vegetable fried rice on the side and it is from Bibigo, which I love that brand. It's a Korean brand and I have tried their dumplings, fried rice, their sauces, and they are always so very good. You can either prepare this fried rice in the microwave or in the skillet, and I always make mine in the skillet. So I will make sure to leave that Kikkoman marinade recipe in the description box. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having these chicken dumplings from Bibigo out of my freezer. I used to make these all the time and it's been a while. So I wanted to show you all how I make them. I have a large skillet here and I put just enough oil to cover the bottom of the skillet and I've got it on a medium heat and all I've done is just put the dumplings in there. I'm gonna let them brown on one side and then I'm gonna flip them over to the other side. And then I'll add about a half a cup of water, cover the pot, and then just let them steam until they look like the picture on the front of the package. Okay, so I've got everything all plated up. Here are the pan fried dumplings. And again, these are the chicken dumplings from Bibigo. You can find them pretty much anywhere. Walmart, Kroger, you name it. And then I also stir fried some fresh broccoli, fresh uh, broccolini. And then I had some leftover spaghetti noodles in my fridge. So I just made a little stir fry out of them. I used my freeze dried vegetables that I've showed you all before. They're from Amazon. They're just freeze dried carrots and onions. I rehydrated them a little bit and added some of this um, chili oil that I absolutely love and a little bit of the wonton seasoning. And it's kind of like ramen noodle seasoning, the seasoning packet that you would get in a package of ramen noodles. And then serving some egg flour soup on the side. I accidentally cut off the top, but it is from Kikkoman. And here it is in the bowl. I follow the directions. You add two and a half cups of water and a um, egg, and that is it. So we are having Asian at home tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are just having some simple grilled hamburgers. Howard grilled them for us. We had some frozen patties in the freezer, and that is what we used. So this is Howard's plate. He's got um, some cheese on there. He's got tomato, avocado, and a little bit of mayo. He prefers his buns untoasted, so his is not toasted. And we're having some cheddar sun chips, and here's what they look like. This is my plate. I've got some sun chips, cheese, and then I have a little bit of mustard and a little bit of ketchup, and my bun is grilled. He threw it on the grill for me. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time.
Hey guys, so once again, our dinner tonight is courtesy of Hideaway Pizza. So last week we got dinner from there as well. They are getting ready to open up a new location in our area. And so they were training staff last week on carry out. And so um, the catch was whatever they gave you, that's what you got. You didn't get to order off the menu, but your meal was absolutely free. And so um, I will link that video in the description box so you can see what we got last week. But this week they were doing the same kind of deal except you got to pick whatever you wanted off the menu. So you got to pick two salads, an appetizer, and two pizzas. So these are our salads. Howard got a Caesar salad and I got a Greek salad. We got wings for an appetizer, a 12 piece wings, and we split the flavors. So Howard got a mango, got the mango habanero, and then I got the buffalo wings. And let me try to move the paper there. And then for the pizzas, we both got small pizzas, but you could have gotten any size you wanted. So Howard got the, I think it's called Porkopolis. So it has a bunch of different pork toppings on there. And then I got the Sicilian pizza, which has, I think, um, pepperoni. I don't remember exactly what it has, but anyway. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So Howard and I tried out a new Asian restaurant for dinner tonight, and we ordered chicken egg rolls. Our food came out out of order, so I'll just show you what came first. Um, Howard ordered some pork belly noodle soup. He said it was just okay, but I thought it had a really good flavor. He didn't like all the cilantro in there. And then I ordered Mongolian shrimp. Mongolian dishes are my go-to when I go to Asian restaurants. And it was okay. Um, I probably would not order it again. And mine came with some steamed rice. And then later on, Howard's soup dumplings came. They were pork soup dumplings. I didn't try them, but he said they were just okay. Not the best he's ever had. And then I ordered an appetizer, small hot and sour soup. And that didn't come until towards the end of the meal. But this is what we had for dinner tonight. And we will see y'all next time.